Here's the heat conduction equation. You've got the gradient of T. So that's just how the temperature is changing. Describes the derivative of the temperature. So if you look at the gradient of T at a certain point, it's a vector that points along the, the way that the, the temperature is changing. And then when you take the divergence of that, I'm not going to, I'm just going to forget that the k is there. Assume that k equals 1. So now I'm going to take the, the, the divergence of this, this uh, gradient of temperature, and that's, that's like how divergence means how it's, how much it's diverging. It's kind of like if, if air is expanding, then its velocity, if you do the divergence of the velocity, you'll see that it's high. And if the air is getting squeezed down, if you do the divergence of the velocity, you'll, you'll see that it's, 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 it's a negative divergence. So, so, so you're talking about the divergence of the gradient of temperature. So if it's a high positive divergence, that would mean that uh, what would happen is the vectors along the temperature gradient would tend to point outward. And then if you got a negative divergence, th those vectors that are that are along the temperature gradient are going to tend to point inward. So for example, suppose you've got a positive uh, divergence of this temperature gradient. Um, what this formula tells you is then you'd have a positive change in the temperature with respect to time. So the temperature would go up. And that makes sense because that positive divergence really means that you're looking so so consider one point where you got this positive divergence as you move away from the point the the temperature is, goes up we're just talking about one time one point in time but we're spatially if you, if you move away from the point you'll see that the temperature is going up and that's you know it's because the the gradient, the gradient T there, is telling you how uh, how the temperature is changing as you go out, and, and the fact that the the divergence of it is positive is meaning that it, well, as you go out, the the, the temperature is going to be going up. So since as you go away from that point, the temperature is going up, it, it would make sense that that point is going to end up getting heat from around it because it's cooler than the things around it. And so in the opposite case, if this was, if you, you had this negative value for this divergence of the gradient, then you would have a hot spot and you would expect as the formula says, that the, that the temperature at that spot with respect to time would be also changing in a negative way.